Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Airgun Reviews. And today we have a really fun experiment. We're going to see how far we can accurately shoot with the 22 caliber pellet rifle. We're going to be using the Hassan 22 cal. And the pellets we're going to be using are the Gamo Blue Bomber pellets. We're going to show you what they look like next to the Crossman Red Flight Penetrators. We have our target that we're going to set up at 30 yards. We have our camera so that you can see where the pellets are hitting. And we're going to be testing out the mid-10 scope from Amazon and we're going to review it. And we have the iScope recorder so that you can see a first person view of the scope. This is the upgraded mid-10 4-in-1 red dot magnifier scope combo which improves the mirror problem of the old model. It comes with a rangefinder reticle, a red green laser, a reflex sight and a Picatinny riser mount. Two color illuminated reticles are in the main scope combo. Green and red. The whole reticle illuminates with five levels of brightness. The batteries provided are of lower quality. Higher quality brand batteries will provide stronger illumination. It's shockproof, fogproof, and waterproof, filled with nitrogen. The eye relief on this scope is 3.1 inches to 3.4 inches. The scope length is 12 inches or 305 millimeters. And the scope range is 980 feet or 300 meters. You have four patterns of illuminated reticles. Red and green dots on the reflex side with a wide field of view. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like through the scope. Check out the clarity. I really like the rangefinder reticle. Look at the cows back there as I zoom in and then out. I'm going to be showing you the green reticle first. Then I'm going to switch over to the red. Now we're going to try out the laser and we're going to see how strong it is. We're going to compare it to this laser that I have on my kel PMR30. I got this on Amazon and I know this laser works pretty well. This is a green laser. So we're going to put the laser on the box out there and the box is at 50 feet and the laser is right in the center right there. And also we're going to go ahead and turn on this laser here show you that it's turned on and now we're gonna line it up and show you what it looks like as well right next to the, the green and you can see it right there they're right next to each other I hope you can see it in the video so that gives you an accurate representation of what you can expect out of this laser the difference of the size in pellets First shot, and we're just going to use the regular scope. <sighs> okay, we hit just about a centimeter low, which is pretty good. Let's take another one. Let's confirm where it's hitting. And then we'll see if we need to make an adjustment. <sighs> the safety. I'll put it right next to it. Let's do one more. I like that this has the safety feature, but sometimes I'll forget. There we go. One more shot. Okay, so it looks like we just gotta move it up a hair because we've been hitting uh centimeter down so let's move it up a little bit ten clicks take a couple more shots 
And if you see me sweating like this is because it's about 102 degrees and it's humid, super humid. There you go. Oh yeah, it looks like I hit maybe, well, I guess I was hitting maybe two centimeters low last time and this is a centimeter now. The way it looks like in the scope, I just got to move it up just a hair. Five more clicks. Same thing, so let's just move it up a little bit more. Eight clicks. There we go, right on. I made some fine adjustments on the scope and then I made sure I was dead on bullseye. Now we have our target set up at 105 yards. Here's what the reticle looks like. To aim, we're gonna number each one of these lines starting with the middle crosshair at zero all the way down to 10. This is how you would normally aim up to about 40 yards. At 105 yards, we're going to use the fourth line or crosshair on the top of the bullseye, shown in the example. When I first started shooting, I was using the third line or crosshair to aim. I noticed that my shots were low, so I made an adjustment and I used the fourth one as I showed you in the example. Then I saw that the pellets were being pushed a bit to the right by the wind, so I made more adjustments to shoot a bit to the left to get closer to bullseye. That's our grouping for 105 yards. That's not too bad if you ask me. Could be better, but that's not too bad. So now we're going to push the limits and we have the target out there. 170 yards under the tree. For 105 yards, we use the fourth line. For 170 yards, we're going to put the seventh line on top of the target. Okay, so we have our target out there at 170 yards. And I'm hoping that we can get a shot on target out there. I've never shot the air gun at this distance, so this is going to be a challenge. I don't know exactly where to hold, so we're going to have to figure it out along the way. Here we go. Here's the first shot. I don't hear anything except the neighbor shooting his AR. So I say I'm a little bit higher. I'll show you exactly when I hit where I was aiming. Oh, I hit the box. I hit the box. Let's try to do it again. I hit the part of the of the background. I didn't hit the box and I was supposed to paint that black. I just didn't have enough time to go pick up the paint. It'll be painted black next time you see it. But for now, this is gonna be that's why I put it so that I can hear if I hit left or right or somewhere. I know that I'm close. Well, I'm aiming exactly where I hit the, on the first time. 
So I'm guessing that maybe I'm still hitting a little bit low. So let's make an adjustment. No, I heard, well, I can't really tell because the background isn't completely covered. Could have hit left or right. Let's keep trying to get on target. Oh yeah, I hit the box again. I think I hit a little bit low. Hopefully the camera over there will tell. I hit the box, I think. I think I saw that one drift to the right. I think we're back on the box. Okay. I think we're hitting close to bullseye. Which I'm pretty excited about. It's not bad at all. I think I hit on bullseye actually. Which I was not expecting that. I think I'm getting a better grouping at 170 yards that I got at 105 yards, which is crazy. Now that I got the exact hold, I'll show you where I'm holding. Oh yeah. Right on bullseye. I'm actually really impressed. For 170 yards for that spring piston air gun, wow, that's pretty good. We're at 260 yards 
under that tree by the container. At this distance, I used the 10th and 11 lines and even shot with the whole target completely out of the picture. But no matter at what angle I tried, I just could not get on target. Now we're going to zero the red dot sight. And we're at 30 yards again. And now I just want to show you what the reticle looks like so that you can get an idea. That's the highest green setting right there. And that's a little reticle that you can choose. And you can choose different reticles. I'm going to go ahead and switch a different one. That's the cross. That's a, a circle. So there's that one. Now let's switch it to the last one, which is only a dot. And now let's switch it to the red. And you can see the same thing right there. There's the dot. I'm going to move back to the different reticles to show you what it looks like. So what you do is you first zero the scope. Once you have the scope zeroed in, then you look through the scope and you see where the laser is pointing and you move it up and down to match perfectly on the crosshair. Once you have that, then you know that this is zeroed. So now you zero the holographic site. So you look through the holographic site and you look for this um, laser. And when you see this laser, then you adjust the holographic site's point to match exactly on the laser. And you'll have it zeroed in in one shot. Now, we're going to try to get a little grouping using the red dot sight. Not bad. Not bad. Let's take two more shots and then you'll take two. I like this setup. Oh, money, money. <laughs> money, money. You have to really be careful when you're shooting this because if you move, if you move your eye level, you're here and you go like this or like that or like that or like that, it will move around. Mm. You have to center yourself. Mm. So I'm still learning how to shoot it too. Here you go, last shot. Oh yeah. Very All right, nice to, uh, you go ahead and take some good. shots. Oh, you hit right next to mine on the, on yeah. the yeah, that's a good shot. I like that, that red dot. Right? That's pretty dope. I think you hit right there again. One more shot. I don't know why. I kind of like the laser more than I like the... The laser or the, or the red dot? The, the, the red dot. The right red dot? Yeah. The holographic sight? Yeah. yeah. I like that, bro. It's a, it's a really uh, fast target acquisition, like huh? I feel like I can stabilize that red dot more than I can stabilize the crosshair. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe from fucking practice with fucking Call of Duty or Apex. Could be. Right there on target again. So here's our grouping with the red dot sight. And I'm really happy with the results. And I think it's a fast target acquisition. And I really like it. Oh, and the scope removed. The scope record removed. Uh, yeah, it's moving. So. As I was finishing up the video, I heard something come out of the brush. I looked around the trailer, and to my surprise, it was a huge rabbit. I took advantage to use these pellets in a hunting situation and get myself some dinner. On the back of the pellets, you'll see Gamos Pro Shot ID system. These have a five star rating for hunting and only one star for competition shooting. So I start my stalk, I go around the trees to get a clear shot. I take aim and fire.
There we go, that's the Gamma Blue Bomber right there. Not bad. That's pretty big right there. It's gonna be awesome for the grill. That was a really fun video, wasn't it? Check out the mid-10 store on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description for everything that you need, including the scope and the Gamma Blue Bomber pellets. I hope after watching this video, you'll have a better understanding of how far your 22 caliber pellet gun will shoot. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon.